team has been producing ropes continuously for 250 years. We often joke about it that when team was founded, the French Revolution didn't happen. Someone 40,000 ago found very, very good product. And this product is still without big changes, yeah? They look almost the same, but we have new materials that we use. There are a lot of new innovations to make it more safe product. Innovation for Tim is essential for the future, but this is not only for Tim. Everything what we are doing in Willemsen, we need to innovate. I don't like good enough because good enough is too expensive. For example, the snapback arrestor is a new innovation that we did. Accidents with ropes are extremely dangerous. I think the most fantastic thing in my career was when uh, SBA was working. <laughs> now we have saved uh, maybe one life. <laughs> when uh, you are going in this world of the ropes, we don't have so many books about how to produce ropes. You have the strength and tension and the friction and the abrasion and the external friction. And it's thousands of tests made. Slavik is uh, really the father of the ropes. He's been uh, working with ropes all his life. A never-ending well of wisdom about rope manufacturing. Probably one of the best in the industry. So I'm trying to get as much uh, information from him as possible. Thomas should not try to be a new Slavic. He should really look into this with uh, fresh eyes because we are going into new challenges with uh, more digital solutions, which is combined with the uh, physical ropes. Yeah, so we have developed line management plan, a digital tool that's helping of our customer to, to manage the rope. And uh, we're also working on a sensor solution. With the sensor, you can have live data, so you can avoid the accidents. And by that, we can improve the safety for the crew, and then we can optimize the usage of the rope so we don't retire it too early or too late. The sensor now is working, you can see the data on the screen. You just don't need to guess the load, you can actually see the load. Thomas is learning very, very quick. He is future. This is not a single person who is driving the innovation here. You need the right culture to drive the innovation. Wow. <laughs> What is motivation to me? I uh, feel challenged because I like challenge. If you stop innovating, everything is stopping at, at a certain point. We need to think uh, that the best rope doesn't exist, so we need to move forward, let's say climate change. I think it's very concerning when I see all the waste, not just in the ocean, but everywhere. Then I really want to have an impact. It's about the people working with the ropes to make it both easy for them and safe for them. It's two years to my retirement. It will be Pity, but uh, I'm very proud that there is R&D team. I know that uh, I managed to prepare people who will uh, continue to work with my dream. So we're always trying to develop better products for our customer. So the whole history of team, the 250 years, doesn't guarantee innovation, but it's a basis on which we can build to innovate.